Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of the Crafty Panda Survival Series. In the last episode we collected resources and got a little spot where we could start mining. And in this video I'm going to be showing you a highlight reel of the things that I've been doing since that video. Now a lot of these are quite dull to watch so I'm just going to cover that with these little snippets of video instead of making you watch hours of mining and hours of farming. So let's show you what I've been up to. Okay, so I've gathered two cows and placed them in this pen and I've planted the sugarcane that we collected in the last episode and started this little farm. And thanks to my magic time travel chest, we can scoot forwards into the future. And now all of the sugarcane is grown, we've got tons of cows. And the reason we've collected all these cows and all of this sugarcane is so that we can set up an enchanting table with maximum level enchants. So to get that maximum level, we're going to need to surround our enchanting table with bookcases and for that we're going to need leather and paper and lots of it and that's where the sugarcane and the cows come into it. Okay so we're going to turn the sugarcane to paper and we are then going to use this paper around the leather and that's going to make our books for us. So I'm just going to make eight here. So once we've got these books what we're going to do is put some wood in the bottom, wood in the top and put the books in between and that's going to make us our bookcases and I'm just going to make three sets of bookcases here because I've got the books to do it. Okay and now you can see that we've got four bookcases. Cool. So to get the maximum level in chance we are going to need 15 bookcases around the enchanting table so I'll be back when I've done that. Okay and here we are with our enchanting area. So I've put 16 around here just because I didn't really like the asymmetry of it and I think it looks a little bit nicer but it doesn't really make any difference above 15. So this is just a small room off our mine that we've made and it's next to the water elevators which are over in the corner just there. And we've also got a couple of chests here and what we've got here is one chest that I like to store my tools in or armour before they get enchanted and the other chest that I like to store lapis in because I always forget lapis and you need it for your enchanting. This is also a grindstone so this means that you can take enchantments off uh, as of 1.13 I believe and you also get a little bit of XP back when you disenchant an item as well. Saves you having to keep on making items. These are the water elevators over here. Now if you've missed the tutorial for that they are on the channel as well. Really do watch those, they are awesome and uh, they're really easy to do. So if you're looking for a quick way to get in and out of your mines, absolutely brilliant. And when we come out of this elevator what we're going to see is our big room down at the bottom here. We've got our nether portal. Again, I've done a video for 15 top tips for the nether in less than 5 minutes, definitely worth watching. Uh, but these, these elevators are awesome. So what we're going to do now is just get into a quick mining time lapse. Now this is really super short and I just wanted to show you that the abandoned mine shaft that we'd found in the first video, I went and had a bit of an explore and also just did a bit of mining from the walls just to see if we could pick up some basic resources. Um, it was quite good, I mean I'll show you the video um, I'll show you the clip at the end to show you how many resources we got, but we got absolutely tons and tons and tons of stuff from these. And I just want to stop this again here, just to show you a little bit of enchanting, because now we've got to level 30 enchanting, we're going to grab some of our stuff and get enchanting, because this makes life so much easier. So what I'm going to do here is just put each of the types of things that I want to enchant into the table and see what the level 30 enchantment is on each. So at the moment it's looking like the pickaxe is probably the best bet, none of them are particularly good. But ideally we want to try and get Fortune or Silk Touch as soon as possible. Now, the way that enchanting works is level 30 enchantments you can only do if you're level 30 XP. But if you're level 30, you're going to have to spend 3 experience levels to do a level 30 enchantment. Now, that is an issue because the difference between XP at level 29 to level 30 is absolutely huge compared to the difference in XP, say, if you were doing a level 1 enchantment where you'd only need a tiny amount of XP. So it's really important to try and maximise the amount of efficiency by going for level 3 enchantments when you get to level 30 because it's easier to get the XP to get back to 30. And here we've got efficiency and unbreaking and that's pretty decent but ideally we sort of want Silk Touch or Fortune so we can get much more diamonds and also be able to mine a lot faster. So I'm just checking what we're going to be able to go for next time. Obviously I don't have the levels at the moment. So we're just going to have to go back and do another mining session I think unfortunately. Again this is a really sh super short mining clip here. So you can see where I've sort of uh, been leaving in diamonds and I'm leaving those for when we get the fortune pick. Uh, as soon as we get the fortune pick we can then go back and get way more diamonds and that is definitely the best, most efficient way of uh, doing any mining. And I also want to show you a little bit of a trick here as well. A lot of people get to lava pools and they sort of panic because 
It's sort of a dead end, but if you bring a bucket of water with you, and just place it, and then immediately pick it up again, what you'll see is you flood the whole area and it just becomes obsidian. And this is sort of how, I suppose, your pro players will very quickly make an area safe. Mobs aren't going to be able to knock you into lava if there's no lava. And yeah, so I'm just sort of flooding this place out a little bit. And obviously, if, as soon as you pick up the water source block, it's really easy to do this. And it means that we can get access to far more of these sorts of ores and gems and stuff. I'm just clearing this cave out a little bit. And I did come into a cavern here, so I sort of panicked and just left it and uh, went back to resource mining. So again, just super time lapsing this. And I've cut this way down. We did quite a lot more mining than this. It was really quite an epic mining session. So I'm just going to cut this right down and just show you some of the ores. And here are the results of our epic mining trip. Not bad. Okay, and just to wrap this episode up, one of the things that I found in the abandoned mineshaft is a spider spawner. And you can see us just having a look here. And yeah, so the first thing I do is just light this area up just to make it safe. But we are going to be doing something in the next video. I'm going to be showing you how I made my spider spawn. And potentially I could do that as a tutorial. But otherwise you'll just see where I sort of turned this into a bit of an XP farm. And that is how we're going to fund our super cool enchanting from now on. And that wraps it up for today, guys. Like I said, I wanted to keep this video fairly short, just give you kind of snippets and updates of what I've been doing. I didn't want to force you to sit and watch me do all that mining because I know that's sort of boring for some people. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or if you want to see more progress on the survival series, hit that like button. Please subscribe and just leave me a comment down below. You know, tell me what you liked, what you disliked. And I'm going to keep hitting you with that at the end of the video because I really would like to hear what you guys actually enjoy and what you guys really hate about these videos because... That is really the reason I'm doing this. You know, I'm not doing this for a career. I want to actually hear what you guys like and what you don't like and sort of make my channel's channel better and make my videos better. So, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back with episode three. Cheers, guys.